In this video, I'll show you how to compute uh, distances uh, between one city and another. And this is the origin uh, table. We have uh, those columns there, country, city, latitude, longitude, and population. I'm using this data from simplemaps.com. And I've used uh, the columns from origin table to create this destination table as shown here. And also I've created uh, another table, countries. I've used the country column from origin table. If we go to model view, we can see the relationship, uh, pretty simple. Country column from origin table, many to one, to country column in countries table. And similarly, uh, country column from destination table to countries uh, uh, table, country column. And this is the measure we are going to compute the great circle distance in miles between a single starting location and one or more destinations locations using spherical law of cosines formula. And uh, we are going to uh, look at a couple of steps here. We are defining uh, the origin coordinates and we are using min to ensure that a single value is selected. And we are converting the degrees into uh, radians so that we can use them in the trigonometric functions in the next step. So these are the two um, uh, steps. And the third step is a core a mathematical calculation, which is also known as spherical law of cosines. And this is the formula that calculates the central angle. So formula is available uh, on the internet, uh, including the Wikipedia, etc. So once you calculate that angle, and then uh, we are going to wrap everything around uh, arc cosine function, uh, which is again arc cosine is used to reverse the cosine operation and return this angle in radians. Finally, we are multiplying uh, the value which we uh, calculate this uh, uh, angle, central angle by earth radius. And this is another uh, measure. Uh, which is description, pretty simple to understand. And we want uh, selected value from origin city. And uh, we want the destination city selected value. And this is the report page. We have three slices up top, country, and also origin city and destination city, the respect to columns from those three tables. And um, uh, we have uh, a table below as well where is that city is coming from the destination table there is a map visual in the bottom and we have used all those two measures which we have uh, computed description and distance in miles user can make selections uh, multiple cities from uh, origin city or maybe a specific city as shown here and based on that uh, they can compute the distance and look at uh, the map and also the table and they can uh, switch their uh, selections, obviously. And uh, based on the selections, everything will change in the table visual and also in the map visual. There is something called as Haversin formula as well. You can compute the same by using that formula. But I've used the spherical uh, law of cosines. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.